Welcome to the Corel KPT Collection tutorial. When I received my KPT Collection with PaintShop Pro X3, it went unused because I could not or would not take the time to figure it out. There were no tutorials to aid in using the KPT Collection. The same thing almost happened when I received the KPT Collection with PaintShop Pro X4 upgrade. I tried hard to find a tutorial and found very little help, so I started simply trying to load a picture into the preview window and modifying it. After about a dozen sessions over three days, I was able to load a picture into each of the 24 effects. The results of this proved to be seemingly useless, except for two of the effects. The equalizer and the channel surfing effect seem to be useful beyond all expectations. The others must have some merit. So I continued to work with the other effects and finally realized what they could be used for. The problem with the 24 effects usefulness comes from a simple fact. They are listed in the plug-in flyout in alphabetical order. When I quantified them in a spreadsheet list and reordered them by classifying them as to their functions, the usefulness of the other KPT effects started to appear. There are three categories of effects, photo, art, and video. These three categories have between 6 and 10 secondary effects depending on how you use them. My PDF list of the practical functions of the KPT effects is available at www.thetrout.com and listed under the Corel KPT PDF file on the right hand side of the main page. The list starts with the two effects that really kept the KPT collection from being a joke. This is the equalizer and the channel surfing effects. These effects are two of the best programs for sharpening a photograph. These two effects can turn a very marginal, fuzzy, or out of focus photo into something usable. These work better than the high pass filters and with more latitude than most sharpening effects. Altogether, there are 11 photo, 9 art, and four video effects. The photo and art effects can be applied to a photograph or a part of a photograph in the edit window by using the selection tools in the inverse function under the selection menu of PSPX4 or it can be applied to a mask layer to achieve the photo or art effects you desire. The video can be saved in two of the video effects and saved and played in the other two effects with video capture software. As far as I know at this time, fluid and turbulence capture features do not function in a useful manner. Let's examine how to access the equalizer effect in the Corel KPT collection. It is probably the most useful effect of the collection. Select a slightly out of focus photograph in the edit mode of PSPX4. Under layers in the menu make a duplicate layer. Select the copy and then under effects select plugins then select KPT collection and then select equalizer. When the effects panel comes up it takes up the entire screen. If for any other reason you need to get out of the effects window without exiting it, use the start key on your keyboard. This will allow you to access other programs and still keep the effects window open. There are five buttons and five or six floating screens on the equalizer screen. The upper right hand corner has www and a question mark and a button. WWW takes you to the Corel website and the question mark takes you to the PDF file. The lower right hand corner holds an X and a check mark. The X button is to exit back to the PSPX4 
edit screen with no changes to the photograph. Click the check mark button and it will apply any adjustments you selected with the effect and apply it to the photograph layer you have selected when you entered the effects module. It may take a few seconds to apply the sharpening effects to your original photograph. Hit the escape button on the keyboard to abort this application. You can still reject or approve the changes made to the photograph when the photograph file is closed. The five or six floating panels are where the adjustments are made. The recall panel will recall up to nine different adjustments. Just make an adjustment and then click on the gray recall button. It will turn yellow and save your settings. To erase a saved adjustment, hold down the Alt key, Board key, and click a green button. The panels float. This means they can be moved by selecting and holding down the key to position them anywhere on the screen so you can see and work making your adjustment. In a similar fashion, the layout gray buttons on the recall panel can recall layout panel position. The center button on both the recall and layout panels will take you back to the screen defaults. There are three sharpened types, each giving a different sharpening effect. The Parameters panel gives a preview of the entire selected photo and a slider to apply how much effect the adjustment will have. A smaller window within this picture will allow you to position a view for the bigger preview window to be selected. The preview screen is a close-up view of the photograph allowing a better insight to the sharpening effect. The Equalizer panel pops up to allow adjustments to be made with sliders. A description of this appears in the Help file. The other two sharpen effects adjustments appear in the Parameter panel. This is about all the time we have for this tutorial. Replay this or download the PDF file narration at www.thetrout.com. I hope this has gotten you going on using the Corel KPT collection. Thanks for watching.